what were your thoughts overall on uh, the Von Erics in general? Like each one of them, like because they were all very different individuals. Do so you, we'll start. We'll start with David. What were your thoughts on David? Do you remember my plaid jacket? The red, not not red, the blue and yellow one. Yes. It's see it in some of the YouTube videos. I still have that and can still fit into it. Uh, so I may have to wear that along with those other TV jackets that had the monogram. Now, back to the Von Erichs. What? Tell me your question again. We'll just go one by one because they were all so different. What were your thoughts on David? Well, David had the most passion. He was most like his father. He was most intense. He was a great guy. He uh, was pleasant and uh, affirming but he was filled with ideas and you just knew instinctively that he was the business. He lived the business. It was a natural for him and he could be the toughest Fritz like person in the ring that you would ever find. What about Carrie? Carrie was flaky. He had a heart of gold. He had the body of a God. He had a playful side to him. Uh, I think I may have told you the other night, uh, Fritz's office was upstairs at the Sportatorium. And that's where his office was during the week, and his secretary was up there. Only part of the building that was air-conditioned had shag carpet on the floor around Fritz's desk. The boys love the shag never carpet. dressed with the other guys downstairs. They always dressed in Fritz's office. And they would bring their wives in sometimes on Friday nights. And Carrie, of course, was a god. Everybody wanted to be around him. Carrie took great delight in parading around Fritz's office without a stitch of clothing on and bring guests in with his wife in the room. And she would be totally mortified that these strangers would come in and there's her husband walking around naked. And Carrie thought it was hilarious. He just got <laughs> the biggest kick out of it. He was a flake. He was fun. He had a heart of gold. He was great in the ring. Uh, Carrie, you know, just never had anybody to really love him, uh, to help him with some life decisions, because those guys were such superstars that they would say anything, do anything, give them anything, even substance abuse-wise, to get close to them. And, uh, you know, as you know, we all know, sadly, there were some bad choices. But Carrie was a good guy. What about Kevin? Kevin was a good guy, too. Kevin, uh, kind of a mystic personality. Uh, Kevin kind of lived in his own world, almost like the free birds. Those boys had enough diversity. There were not any two of them alike. Uh, Kevin wasn't as hard a worker after my first four or five years uh, the barefoot routine, you know, they argued about that. Is that really as much of a gimmick as it is the fact that he just didn't want to have to take the time to lace up those boots? Uh, but you know, I don't, I'm, I'm not, I don't know, you know, even now he still doesn't wear shoes. Yeah, he, he probably doesn't. Kevin just, you know, he's the one that lived through it all. He's been through so much. Uh, even with Fritz and then the demise of his family. Uh, it's just hard for me not to say anything other than revering thoughts about Kevin because he's a hero, not only that he's still in the business, but he's still in life. Absolutely. Uh, so Absolutely. I have great, great appreciation and respect for Kevin. You know, I think a lot of that too. I think, you know, there's a lot of credit to Pam too. You know, Pam is an amazing woman and, you know, she's been by his side through all of that. Uh, you know, another testament to Kevin was, uh, you know, I think he raised Marshall and Ross to ensure that they didn't live that life. You know, that they, uh, you know, they didn't, they don't get into anything. You know, it, you know, they worked for me for years and, and they're such great guys. And, uh, you know, I love seeing them go on the run that they're going on now because, you know, I, I think that, uh, you know, the Von Erics were the, the family that you wish you had oftentimes on television. But watching Marshall and Ross, everything about them is authentic now, you know, and, and I think it's wonderful to see. And you've seen Marshall and Ross in person, too. You, you've spent time with them as well. Yes, I have. And I remember Pam. Pam was a doll. Gorgeous, Absolutely. brunette, very quiet. 
Uh, and she has been that liturgy wife, you know, better for worse, sickness, health, richer, poor, uh, death do us part, traditional wife. And she is a hero. And, uh, you know, those boys, you know, one of them looks a little bit like Carrie. And then the other one looks like his mother with that dark hair. Yeah, uh, but they're they're both good looking guys. Of course, you know, I don't know how old they are. They're probably in their early 30s now, but uh, I hope they do real well and hope we get to well here. I'm not going to commit to that. I'm not going to say we. Hope you get to use them some. Uh, you already said we. You can't take it back. It's <laughs> in public record. Uh, have you had any time or any chance to spend time with Lacey? No. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.